Are my years on the run? Chasing hell, drinking devil's blood. I never caught a fire that ever slow me down. Even fighting in the war, dodging lead. Reaching rival doors, I never took no heat that could ever strike me down. Oh, when I come home, glory, hallelujah. All my days in the woods, just a blade and a point to bruise. I never picked a fight that could ever put me down. Oh, but when I come home, glory, hallelujah. Knocking me on Every time I cry and sing the blues, nothing else I'd rather do than be helpless in your arms. Ah, how's it, everybody? My name's Andy Bumatai. And I'm James Money. Welcome to the Daily Pigeon. And if you're watching this, join the live chat and you will become part of the Hemajang Gang. <laughs> I'm putting poor uh, James through the ringer here because he went to the dentist today. Uh, are th what, three teeth lighter? Yes, three teeth lighter. And the Novocaine is starting to wear off. So yes. this should be a very interesting show. Yeah. So if, if you see me smiling, know that it hurts. Because <laughs> that's how Samoans do it. Right? Yes. Oh, the, the, the uh, dentist gave you two tasasa. Oh, he gave uh, me the pounding. <laughs> How's it, Kevin Frazier? Um, oh, wait, wait. Did I click on ice cream good enough? There he is right there. How are you, Beef Stew? Mad Statter in the house. Aloha, no. And we have moderationists. Then there's Nani Aloha and a, an associate producer along with Devin. How are you? And uh, as soon as C. Honda shows up, I have to thank her again for sending me all these wonderful links so I don't have to search for news items that have to do with Hawaii. Pokoliti, mahalo for joining in. How's it? Kentiki, uh, Devi, bonjour, motoritarur. Si. Whatever he's trying to say in French there. That's my why and I French. Ah, we. Oui. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> we go beef. <laughs> ah, hey, Michael Anthony Smith, haven't seen you in a while. Hope all things are well on your front. Hey, Thomas the Turtle, mahalo. What's up, gangi? Oh, okay. And Darlene is back in the home front after oh. a long and uh, 
Good fun, North Shore vacation. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Hey, I'm sorry, uh, James, with the dental issues. Habut. I am habut right now. So I had two broken teeth. Yeah. So they decided to remove them because I guess food was collecting in them. Yeah. But then the doctor said, hey, why don't we just take out your wisdom tooth? I'm like, I'm 48. I mean... Yeah, I'm not going to get any smarter. <laughs> yeah, I need all the wisdom I can get. <laughs> they go, ah, let's just pull it out. I was like, yeah. so just pull it out. That's, you know. Yeah. So he pulled it out. Well, you know what? you got to get that done because you don't want to do it when you're my age. Oh. <laughs> That's yeah. it's it. Roger Sasaki. Aloha no. He's sending one. Aloha, guys. Hey. How are you? Ken Tiki. That's awesome. I need to write these down. I'm giggling like crazy right here. Yes, Kentucky. And in case you missed it, he said, Le Devin, bonjour. Mm. You have to make that nasal noise. M moderator. Moderator. Oui. Yeah, you pronounced it correctly. Yeah. Oh, man. And you have to hold your cigarette like between these fingers. Oh, the last two. Yeah. yeah. You have to start smoking, is another thing. Too, well, right? I think all French smoke, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, Mark Gonzalez. Hey, aloha, Andy and James. And don't forget the gangi. Rockers in the house. Hey, he's got the rockers in the house. And before I forget, and because we didn't mention it yesterday, please subscribe if can on the YouTube side, especially, mm -hmm. which also reminds me that still haven't got the uh, Facebook side work. And we're going to work on that in earnest because we have to contact customer service on yeah. these different things. Yeah. And they take forever to get back. So hopefully by this weekend, we will. Um, have that straightened yes. out. But on this show, we will be visiting some new art in the Kalihi Palama area. Ah. Yeah, it's beautiful too. And those red light cams we talked about a, a few weeks ago, right? They're starting to work. Oh. And lowering the amount of people going through red lights, I guess that's a good thing. And the, and then there, then there are these uh, Kaneohe res, residents mm. who are very concerned about people coming in from all over the world and stealing their fish for aquariums. Wow. How's that? That's right? crazy. I know. And uh, new cars, uh, the inventories are back. We got a little report on that. And Governor Green was on the big island, mm. right, and helped some, an accident victim because, you know, he is a doctor. Yeah, he's an ER doctor. That's right. And the lastly, uh, if we get to it, uh, there's a new study about what it takes to be happy. Oh. Right. And and dentistry is not involved. Well, I just came from the pharmacy, so maybe that might have something to do with it. <laughs> yeah, oh, that part of dentistry. Spot on. Oh, I know. Uh, there is an intermittent hum, or is it just me? Was that the dryer? It could be the dryer. <laughs> is the dryer still going? No, I heard... Oh, they, that the dryer ended. Yeah, yeah, probably. yeah. Yeah, I was doing laundry. Yeah. yeah, I know. I remember one time I mentioned. I said, uh, I said, uh, when I do laundry, I check the pockets. Yes, you and, should. Yeah, right. But and I forget what female it was, but she goes, "You had me at when I do laundry." <laughs> I'll never forget that. Well, it throws me off too because usually you do it on Wednesdays. Yeah, well, does it? Well, today I had, um, well, I worked on posters. Ah, oh, there you go. There you and go. I've been doing that. And in fact, I have a new one to show you. Well, that and Facebook. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah the whole so, Facebook thing. Yeah. And I had a meeting with a friend of mine, Jody Kono, a longtime friend. She comes to show one time. And uh, we had um, lunch at Zippy's. I was going to say that Zippy's, right? Look at this, Vance Mo. Hey, look at that. A ghost from the past. How are you? How's it, gang? So sorry I've been out of touch for so long. Hope everyone is doing great. Finally have an afternoon, uh, afternoon off so I can watch the live show. Vance Mo, for those of you who uh, may not know, um, contributed so much to the show oh, in the nice. early days. Wrote songs. In fact, we have the uh, we have a little video of him. He does these musical uh, mm -hmm. videos explaining Hawaiiana. It mm. really a great guy. Great to see you here, Vance Mo. Thank you so much for showing face right on. Okay, so let's do this first one here. Uh, this is such a nice um, item, you know, because. You and I are both proponents of the importance of arts in the schools and the community. Yep. It's the way to keep the kids off the streets. Mm -hmm. Let them be proud of something. 
10. This is in that vein. This is what happens to kids that start scribbling in school. The buildings of Kalihi may look a little brighter this week thanks to a series of murals taking shape at several locations. Jill Kermoto has a story from Palama Settlement. Surrounding the white walls of the historic Palama Settlement building, something a little more oh, colorful cool is, that? is starting to take shape. And you know, the, these kids, <clears throat> it's so nice when they have that lifter, that, <laughs> I can't know what lifter, what's it called? Uh, gotcha, oh. cherry picker. I was gonna say crane, but I know it's not a crane. <laughs> you, you gotta call Doc Bailey. <laughs> well, he is special to my heart because I grew up out here. And drivers on the H1 freeway might spot the message being painted on the once basic siding mm. of the gym. Those kind of walls like do nothing. It doesn't serve as inspiration. It doesn't add anything. The inspiration now on the wall is the brainchild of Hawaii Walls, formerly known as Hawaii, Hawaii Walls and artist Jasper Wong. He and others have spent the past decade painting murals in Kaka'ako, and now they're turning their artistic Ooh, eyes I to know. Kalihi. And I really felt like bringing the mural festival here would really help to uplift and bring color and vibrancy to, to this neighborhood. Over 80 artists are on site painting nearly 30 murals and brightening the spirits of the kids. Wow. That's, look how, I mean, that's um, um, Picasso-esque. No, no, Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Seniors who spend time there. When I spoke to the artists, I asked them to allow the kids, when they come here after school, to grab a paintbrush and paint. And you'd be surprised how many kids actually grab the paintbrush and help the artists paint nice. these murals. And these that doesn't surprise me at all. Huh? their murals and so i was very pleased to see the kids that are excited the royalty wall as it's called features the princesses and prince that lend their names to various schools in the kalihi area mm, and so we so want cool. the kids to know that when they come here after school princess likilike princess kailani uh you know and princess kailani is still looking over you and this I community love that. and your ancestors are here for you to support you hawaii walls is currently so cool. working on nearly 80 murals at several sites around kalihi including bishop museum hoping to spread a positive message for the community we do a lot of work here at Palama Settlement for the community, and so to have these murals here, it just elevates our stature within the community and lets people know that, you know, we're here Ooh, to serve, cool and it, it's, it's alive again here at Palama Settlement. Jill Kuramoto, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Love it. Love it. Yes. Palama Settlement. Yeah. What? <clears throat> they never move in permanent yet. <laughs> They've been there for a while. <laughs> ah, that's more. Ah, I'm trying to get two more books out this year. He oh. does uh, books for children. Oh, nice. In fact, um, he, had a, he had a very successful YouTube channel where he played a lot of the songs and stuff. But what he was doing was taking popular books mm -hmm. and putting them to music and oh. showing the pictures from the books. But then he had some copyright issues. Oh. Why they would do that, I don't know. You think they would say, hey, yeah. use our books. I know. The taggers around Seattle area don't touch legit murals. Art, respect, art. Oh. That is such an amazing um, statement mm -hmm. because I went to the Kaka'ako area, right. you know, where they do all that stuff. Yeah. And there's tagging everywhere except on those beautiful murals yeah. for that reason that Mad Statter just... Respect, oh, art, respect, respect yeah, art. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, uh, Thomas the Turtle. Uh, Van Gogh all over Kali'i selling ma Manapua. <laughs> I think the so. thing I like about the, not only is the, the, the art beautiful, yeah. but the message too, because I'm sure a lot of kids don't know about the royal family and, you know, the royalty yeah. that they, they're coming from, that that's part of your heritage, and, you know? And that, that they would be watching over them. Yeah, that yeah, gives yeah. them that feeling because, yeah. you know, nobody else home, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Wash your feet before you go inside. And look here, Darlene says, uh, uh, that's good. That's a good way for youth to express themselves. It will beautify the area and message. And thank you so much for the people painting on those freeway bypasses that you don't use that, you know, that uh, uh, roadrunner tunnel. No. <laughs> hey, pling! <laughs> oh, yeah, look, uh, Vance Mo says, yeah, I knew it was a copyright issue, but putting music with books is an amazing way to get 
kids interested. Yeah, and I agree with that. I mean, that's the that's the main thing is to get the kids interested. So like even that in that piece where they had the kids painting. Yeah. That you go, oh, this is how they do it. And then when they walk by five or even ten years, bring their own kids. And or I had a part of that. Yeah. Son. Mommy helped with that. That's why when he said I, I was surprised how many wanted to participate. Didn't surprise me at all. Yeah. All right. Amazing. I just had a flashback to mom yelling, hey, kids, wash your feet. I know. <laughs> oh, that was us. I was like, when you said that, I was thinking that of me washing my feet with the garden hose before I go in the house. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I, we had this big, uh, like, cement sink in y and I, and I got real good at lifting my foot way high up and getting it in there, but... That's, that's that's real Hawaii. Hey, wash your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Because we never. Did, I, when did you start wearing shoes? Uh, not till only when I went to school. Yeah. Well, <laughs> us it was seventh grade. Oh. All the way to six, we didn't wear, and nobody did. It was thought of as cool to be barefoot. Yeah. yeah. They called it, you know, Samoan feet. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> and you know, uh, I remember back in those days, you could walk on the hat, hot asphalt yeah. rocks, all kind. And now. Not, nothing. Now I gotta take the rubbish out. Well, I gotta put my slip on. <laughs> you know, too much. Ow, 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 yeah. By the way, Aware is here. Did you notice that? Hey, she Aware. Was showing faces. One, uh, another one of our moderationists. Yeah, um, we should uh, we should play the Daily Pigeon song in uh, order in honor of Vance Mo. Well, let me see. I got a great idea, mm -hmm. Kevin. What about us drinking from the hose? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's where we got the immunities. Yeah. You know? That was the booster. <laughs> that was the booster. Yeah. Had 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 the five second rule, drink in front of the hose. Yeah. <laughs> well, and also when you go to the laundromat, if you're we live in an apartment building, so I had the laundromat, yeah. I had the sink. You your hand underneath the faucet and drinking like that. Oh okay. I'm gonna find I'm trying to find the daily pigeon. You know, you know which one I want to do? Let's see, Daily Pigeon Live song. Yeah, there. First Let, one. Yeah, let's do this one. This this one was um was Miles and Vance Mo. Uh oh. And I love the story behind this because they went to Wahiwa, mm -hmm. right? Uh Haleiwa, excuse me, to visit the ukulele store. Oh. It was closed. Ah. So they went and they sat on the side of the road and came up with this song. Right. Amazing. Now I have to do my clunky thing. So uh, hang on there just a bit, okay? I got preview here, then go here, then put the Daily Pigeon song here. And this, by the way, um, showcases a lot of the Hamajang gang, which is another reason I love this. So, hey, Ben Small, you remember this, brother? Solid. <laughs> How's it from the Hammer Chain Gang? We want to welcome you. Glad you found the Daily Pigeon. Here's what we're gonna do. Tell you about the cool things the show has got in store. And hopefully you'll join the fun and leave us wanting more. Daily Pigeon Live. Join us every day. Daily Pigeon Live. Live the island way. Twitchy, many who needs best with the show. The worry's part of the fun, we just go with the flow. Daily Pigeon Live, join us every day. Daily Pigeon Live, live the island way. Daily Pigeon Live, it's the place to be. Daily Pigeon Live, just for you and me. Up inside, going out of your gourd. Can't go out feeling lonely or maybe feeling bored. Doesn't matter what it is, you've got the cure, my friend. Awesome tunes, Ohana, and the chat that never ends. Daily Pigeon Live, join us every day. Daily Pigeon Live, live the island. Jokes galore. We bust 
saw laughing every day I was rolling on the floor Seeing places in the I know Where you missed being able to go And that's all here at Lots More On the Daily Pigeon Live Show Daily Pigeon Live Join us every day Daily Pigeon Live Live the island way Daily Pigeon Live It's the place to be Daily Pigeon Live Just for you and me Daily Pigeon Live ba 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 da ba Daily Pigeon Live ba 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 da ba Daily Pigeon Live ba 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 da ba How good was that, James? It's so funny because that came about because the store was closed. Right. <laughs> so it's and improv. I hate, I hate to say it, but I'm glad it was closed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Silver lining. I know. And Pocoli, don't you love that part? That's so Miles. Ba, 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 da, ba. <laughs> I know. Hey there, Arakain. How are you, Thomas the Turtle? Saying, how's it? The kind to everybody. All right. And thank you for the suggestion, Kevin. Guy's got good ideas. Mm -hmm. Good ideas. Okay, now we're going to revisit these red light cams, okay? The story uh, never ends. Well, a lot of people said, what? I don't know. We don't need any more big brothers, but check the statistics out on this mm -hmm. thing. We begin with more red light safety cameras up and running, that according to the Department of Transportation. I met with the DOT director who says they are seeing fewer people running red lights at intersections well, with the cameras. And our daily numbers, on average, are lower than the baselines that we had before. That's the that latest from the Department of Transportation Director Ed Sniffen. As the red light safety camera pilot project meant to stop people from running red lights nears the six-month mark. Well, considering the citations weekly to what we had before. This sounds real wine I, but I look at this guy go, I bet you this brother can scrap. I think it's from, it's family from IA. Oh yeah, I know uh, a bunch of sniffins and uh, but uh, it's not just I. Uh, yeah, but I think him and his brother. I think I went to school with his sister. I, I think that he can scrap for two reasons. Number one, he looked like it, and number two, his last name is Sniffin. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> so you know, but I never put up with any. Or, uh, we see a drastic reduction daily in the number of red light runnings. Looking at data from four locations where people run the red most frequently, it's clear just how much it's decreased. Look at this. Wow. Peekoy and Baratania showing the sharpest decline. Before wow. the project, an average 110 people running the red light every day. So what is that? I'm, I'm the Y9 math here. 85 people less ran the red light? About. Cool. Now that the cameras are installed and they're issuing citations, an average 14 people run the red per day. Even with the numbers going down, some drivers are still shocked to hear how often it happens, knowing the implications and what that could mean at busy intersections like Likilike and School Street, where 289 citations were Ooh. mailed out in just 10 days. What? At least 12 a day. You're I love, uh, no, listen to this guy's response here. He's on TV. This is what he came up with. Thoughts when you hear that? Wow. Okay. I gee, I didn't think it was that much. Are you surprised to hear how many people are running this light? No, because uh, it's always busy this this site. According always busy this site. Certainly. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> to sniff in locations like this are problematic. What we see though, people coming off of or jumping onto high speed facilities into that first stop light will always be an area of concern for red light running. He says that's why citations are $200 and go to the owner of the car, not the driver. <laughs> no matter. <laughs> Johnny, I'm expecting a bunch of those. Thank you, technology. <laughs> and when you pay for it, this is a warning for you. And, and hopefully everybody takes it that they got this citation. It's a warning. They'll stop that behavior to make sure everybody can stay safe. I met with Representative John Mizuno, who represents portions of Kalihi. Cars are still speeding, and people are not um, easily adept to change. So for the average person, yes, yeah. after the third or fourth ticket, you know, when you're getting close to $1,000 in fines, I, I think you're going to get the message. But at the end of the day, this is a deterrent. Uh, it's, a, it's for public safety, and I support it. 
course. Wow. Sniffin says he's received only positive feedback about the project and that after the first year, he said they should have enough data to determine if the project should be implemented on a permanent basis and expanded. Wow. You know what? Um, <clears throat> and Ken Tiki here puts all dollar signs, right? And, and look here, uh, P. Draghi says, you know, uh, could mean one more squad car paid for. But mm. you know what? I think it's, it's about more than money. Right. It is. A, and, you know, we don't we don't usually, you know, show these kinds of uh, news reports on this show, mm -hmm. but people are getting killed in crosswalks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know, and and we're talking kids. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, and those people are blown through red lights. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's, uh, you know, the money. Yeah. It's all, you know, but saving lives is the, the major part of it. <laughs> Especially that, you know. And as they say, if you can save one, at least one life. Yeah. If you could just make one dollar <laughs> doing it. <laughs> and Vance will, so I ain't going to let nobody borrow my car. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Know, that's true. You're going to get charged. <clears throat> hey, I was on the mainland and uh, someone borrowed my rental car mm -hmm. and blew through a red light and they sent the ticket here. And I had to send my a picture of my ID and the shot of the guy driving the car. And I said, look, it's not me. It was my friend. I lent him the tr car, but... Oh, that's mm. tricky if your friend looks like you. Yeah. Well, and, and you know, the funny thing is, he didn't really, but, you know, brown skin brother on, oh. you know, and they say, hey, you look the same. Yeah. Hey, you know what, bro? Yeah. yeah. Matt Satter asked, was that Aya Bowl in the background? No, that's... Um, that's in Kalihi. So that was in School Kalihi. Street. Yeah, yeah, School Street. Yeah. You, you saw the meme drop from the sign that said Kalihi yeah. Street. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, but you know what? Guess what? Cameras everywhere. There's a good and bad side. You don't like that? <clears throat> you got to move Puna. Yeah. Yeah, well, even with the uh, cameras being on those, uh, those ring cameras, those on the... Um, on the doors? The doorbell. Those help because um, people become witnesses. You know, when the, the police said there was a chase or whatever, or yeah. somebody running back, they use that. And it actually helped um, a couple of days ago. I was running late to come here. Yeah. But my neighbor who has dementia was standing what? in front of his house. Uh, old man. He's just standing yeah. in front of his house holding a pitcher of Kool-Aid. And I was like, are you okay? And he said, I couldn't understand what he was saying. But they had a ring with so I rang it. And the son answered. He said, oh, yeah. your, I think <clears> your dad's <throat> locked out of the house. Showed up eight minutes later and you know, oh. left the dad back in the house. So, cameras everywhere. The, you know, people hate him, but it does help in a way. I'm so glad you asked him if he's all right. A lot of people would have saw him with the Kool Aid and figured he was just trying to make friends. Yeah. Or he was selling. He was selling. <laughs> you know, if you if you made one conta <laughs> and one cop for grab the money, maybe. Yeah. 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 And I was, it was, I was happy to help, help out because it's your neighbor. You know, you see him standing there. Yeah. So. Look at this. That's a big misconception. All fines and penalties go to the state general fund, not city and county. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a... Wow, Roger. Nice uh, nice one. Thank you. I guess it goes to the sheriff's car? No, mayor's limo. Oh, there. No, <laughs> mayor is city. We go to the governor's limo. <laughs> oh, governor's limo. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, Linda Louis. 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 Oh, hey, my friend Kiku Tutu got hit walking downtown mm. years ago. She was okay, but just crossing the road, hit, boom. Yeah, I know. You know, why don't they do a leave early campaign? Mm. You know, but people like, ah, oh, well. Yeah. But I was playing World of Warcraft. How can I put that down just for go work? It was my turn for attack, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I had, yeah, I had one camper. <laughs> we was after that bugger. Look here, and Felicia says, who, uh, wait, hold on. My ring camera caught Amazon guy delivering my package and then steal it. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. They need raises. You know, uh, the lady across the street, her house was broken into. She came over here and asked if I had a camera because oh. the guy left through the front door, evidently, and he would have had to walk right past mm. my house. But oh, I said, I don't know my ring camera. I'll get dog. I don't, same thing. We have uh, two yeah. dogs, and there's always a Samoan home. Wow. So you go to Samoan home, nobody breaking in. I can't. That day, you, the other day when you talked to the three kids oh, that were yeah. camping out on my wall over here, they turned over to yeah. I said, what did you say to me? He goes, well, I'll never say nothing. They just, all of a sudden, I see them scampering. <laughs> yeah. I went, wow, bro. Yeah. Mean. Yeah. Okay, this next uh, news story uh, is, is, 
I didn't know this went on. Yeah, okay? me neither. And I'm not even going to, I don't want to blow the punchline, but listen to what's going on in Kaneohe. Taking fish from local waters for aquariums is illegal without a permit. And as KTV4's Kristen Concilio reports, Native Hawaiian practitioners are fighting for a permanent ban on aquarium fishing to ensure that our natural resources are maintained for future generations. Kumu Kawai Kapuokalani Hewitt says his ancestors have always considered Kaneohe Bay sacred, carefully taking care of our natural resources. And now the Native Hawaiian practitioner says the bay continues to be threatened by commercial activity, mm. including wow. aquarium fishers just waiting for the opportunity to swoop in. People from all over this world are waiting to come in here to get fish. A bill that would have backed... His, his, his presentation, his speaking presentation, is so deep and deep. Few words and wow. Hey. Commercial aquarium fishing here in Kaneohe Bay may have died, but Native Hawaiian advocates say the fight has just begun. As long as we still hear the descendants of this land, we're going to fight. Huh? Year Sydney. after year, lawmakers mull over a permanent ban on aquarium fishing, which can be big money. For a yellow tang, between three and five hundred dollars. For what? Wow. And there's not that much meat. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's tang. It's old, oh, school, oh, old school juice. Huh? <laughs> you just, you, you, the, the astronauts now keep them. multiplying that and you see how much money these people can make. But these people okay, never... 500, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times 5. That's almost 300. <laughs> Take care of all of this. Our kupuna did. And Kaneohe Bay is especially vulnerable. There were guys going and uh, catching oh. aquarium fish pretty much daily out there. Yeah, those fish are only two dollars uh, each. <laughs> wow! No wonder you have to catch plenty. <laughs> yeah, what is that? The bay. Basically, you can catch your chrome fish 365 days out of the year in the bay. Um, it's like taking candy from a baby. Aquarium collecting is not allowed here unless you go through an environmental review and get permits from the State Department of Land and Natural Resources. That answers your question, Namas, uh, Namaste Zen. He says, "Do you do they need a permit?" Well, guess what? Yes. Evidently, but I bet you plenty of people know more. But without a permanent ban, Native Hawaiian advocates fear the floodgates will be open. They'll be back and doing their daily routine again, catching their, their fish, uh, all the babies. Wow. So it's frightening to see what the future will be like. Kristen Concilio, KITV4 mm -hmm. Island News. Oh, man. And that bay, you know, they, in Kahalu'u and Kaneohe, there are times, I remember I lived out there for a short period of time, and mm -hmm. I, I got up one morning. It was so glassy, I took my surfboard out just to paddle through it. Oh. It was just so calm. I mean, for miles, it's amazing over this. So you can see those guys. Hey, only yeah. easy catch the tang. That has, yeah, that, that has to stop. They just use a big pitcher. <laughs> Look at mm. that. And L little tangy. <laughs> Poilani says that has to stop. Yeah. Yeah, I think even with permits, uh, this needs to be controlled. Yeah. They'll take all, not some. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, if someone said, oh, you know, these tangs, $500 a piece, only take five. Yeah, right. Yeah. That they're going to take more. And it, well, also, they, like you're saying, they're doing it daily. You will eventually have all of them. All of them. Mm. Well, that's what happens to the commercial fishermen, you know, out when they catch the big fish yeah. and stuff. People are saying, you know, they get these giant guys with the yeah. big nets. Who? $10,000 permit. I don't know what it costs, but I see what you're saying there. Yeah. yeah. And that's the reason they, they go around it and try to steal. Yeah. <sighs> we drove on the back road so we wouldn't get weighed. What song was that? Bobby McGee? That's before my time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it's a country western song. Yeah. Ish. And I, I know you're a fan of that. Yeah. Well, I'm actually a fan of all of all music. It's just I don't listen to anything else except that around you because then there's no swearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, you, what, what about P. Diddy? <laughs> I was going to break some N.W.A., but I was like, hmm. Andy seems more like an uh, in intellectual rap and, and type I, of guy. I know what the acronym stands for, by the way. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Um, uh, Willen Little Feet, was it? Uh, Willen? Is that what he's saying? Is that that's, that's a song? We've driven on the back road so we wouldn't get weighed. Ah, I forgot that one. I thought it was Bobby McGee, but, you know. 
It will not be the first time I was wrong. Okay, now, guess what? Anyone who is thinking about buying a new car, mm. last couple of years, been a little rough. Yes. Someone goes in there and the dealer wants to mark it up $25,000 over sticker. You remember when that was going mm -hmm. on? People were like, what? So they went to used cars and then yeah, those went up because of it. Well, guess what? Inventory may be back. Hey. I know. Let's see right here. If you happen to be in the market for a new car, well, maybe your timing's finally good. You could have better luck these days finding something that meets your needs. Dealerships telling us inventory is improving while the ticket price on cars is going down. Hey. So who's benefiting from this trend? Max Rodriguez explains in a story that's new at 10. Lady tie-dye, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> car dealerships say in the industry their car inventory in a much better shape than it's that. been since the pandemic began wow. for the consumer definitely um, they have much more selection than they did you know within the last three years um, pricing again has come down the peak is gone um, so uh, I think this is probably a good time the auto source owner, Rima Braden, tells me most of their inventory is buying directly from private owners. And they continue seeing a high demand of people interested in selling their cars. But thus, people were getting more bang for their buck last year. What? So there was an opportunity to make some money a year ago. There was some opportunity when you leased a vehicle and at the end of that lease, the residual value was lower than the, what the market value is. Naturally, you get the difference. Um, that's less now uh, and really, really noticeable. Despite <laughs> a drop in value, other Hawaii car dealerships like Servco are also seeing its buying center busy buying cars back from customers. Oh. And as for its new car inventory, Lexus, Subaru and Toyota brands are seeing an increase in selection, with demand still at an all-time high. A Hawaii Auto Association is expecting new car registrations to go up by 6% this year compared to last year. However, the Hawaii Auto Outlook tracking a 1% <laughs> decline in sales of... Pocolity, <laughs> that made that by James and I both laugh. I can't imagine a dealer saying, you know, yeah. it's not my, this might not be the best time to buy a car. <laughs> Let's wait a few months. Let's wait a few yeah. months. I, I don't need to pay my mortgage. <laughs> SUVs, pickup trucks, and vans. Look at that, though. Do you, do you need a truck like that? Mm -hmm. I, as cool as that white one looks, yeah. that's cool. But what would I you wouldn't. Do? I wouldn't. I mean, I get it. Why? Why? It looks cool. Very cool. People like to drive things that look cool. I just like stuff I fit in. Yeah, I, I would say, you know, um, you know, get a picture and uh, yeah. and, and buy a, a $20,000 car. Yeah. Demand remains high for alternative fuel cars There's like one hybrids here. and EVs. Let me see if I can Surf stop says it. most of their models remain on a reservation basis. The new car inventory. Okay, look at the clearance on this wheel. Wow. What do you think? That's the style that for, I guess, the street look. Yeah, and, and then they, they bend the... But look at that. I yeah. mean, <clears throat> you know, it'd be okay as if speed bumps were half an inch big. Yeah, you or know? if you just take the route that has no bumps. No bumps. Look I, at that, man. And look at... I mean, maybe it has hydraulics that lift it up a oh, little later. Yeah, because it's parked. Yeah. yeah I think it, it airbags, could, Because too. look how low the, the, it is to the ground there. Yeah, I was going to say, if I jump in, it's there's not going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> They, they call that the emergency brake. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be my new street name. Uh, for Tesla, especially, has you know roared back. So they have a ton of inventory now. So naturally, that market, you know, basically the bubble um, uh, burst, uh, and they're back to, you know, your typical pre-owned cars are less than new cars, you know, as it should be. At least for now, a buyer's market. Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, uh, Max Rodriguez, for that report. Yeah. Because now we can all run out and buy cars. Because, yeah. but wait a minute, we don't have to. The rail is on its way. Oh, that's right. Oh. It's just a matter of months. That's why they had to lower their prices. That's why. Ah, uh, that makes sense that's now. That's it. The oh. rail will fix everything, just like Mufi promised. Should I pay fifty thousand for a car or ride the rail for two dollars? Hey, for the first two weeks, it's free. Boom! Thank you. Holo holo card. There we go. I'm going to get one of those just because I want a holo holo card. You know? Everybody I, wants the American Express black. 
<laughs> Me? Hola, hola, hola. Eat your heart out. That's, and I get a discount. Because yeah. I've seen your discount. Yeah. I know. I got to wait a few more years. Hope no bumps or potholes on Honolulu streets. So, you know, it's not a problem. Yeah. In Honolulu, pfft, what are you kidding? Smooth sailing for me every time I'm coming up this street. I remember I did this video. I said, you know, in Hawaii, whenever I get one pothole, they have a crack team of uh, street maintenance people who come in and within a half hour make it into a bump. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. That's your street. That's exactly. Your, that's your street. What, what do you think? I got that joke. Yeah. Uh, where you going? Drive in Hawaii. Get no potholes. Yeah, that would that would be the joke. You yeah. stay in the in the mall. I think just drive Pro Ridge or Alamo and yeah, just stay yeah, in the, there. Yeah, the parking lots at yeah. the at the university. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ooh, I like my old car. Oh nine. 370Z. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, I don't get fit in that. Ooh, straight road. <laughs> Point A to B. No turns. Yeah. Ooh. Like, who gonna park this car? I don't know. No can turn. <laughs> Look at this. Wait, what? First two weeks for free for the rail? Yes. Uh, the rail on the bus, right? Yeah, on, the, on July 4th. Yeah. Um, just to for the, all the people. We, uh, hey, Vince, we should go there and shoot it, right? And he can write a rail song. Hey. Uh, there we go. Didn't Fosse start the pothole patrol? Uh, I, I don't know about that, but he certainly suggested the rail. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, him and Fred Hemmings. And that's how long it took for it yeah. to finally happen. Finally take. But they're waiting for Miles to get here. That's what that's the Oh, that's Miles coming? Miles coming in July? Okay. When, when he shows up, boom, yeah. we get rail. Gee. Okay. So now a very interesting thing happened. Um, the governor was on the Big Island, mm -hmm. right? And he is a doctor, and they passed an accident, and the governor sprang into action. How cool is that? Check this out. Photos into our newsroom. Look, governor Josh is. Green was on the Big Island attending an event when he and his security detail the... came across an overturned vehicle. As we all know, the governor is also a doctor, so he and some other good Samaritans, including an off-duty firefighter, look helped right the here. Here's the governor asking the, the guy, uh, you get you get medical." Scene, and huh? as you saw, the <laughs> man no. was up and walking. Who did so you vote for? <laughs> you, no you didn't vote BJ Penn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I noticed a sticker on your car. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll get one word for you. Safa! Yeah. No, he said, he said, hey, wait, wait, wait. You ready for take the picture? Okay, <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben Smo thinks rail song is a good idea. On what caused the crash? Wow, talk about being in the right place at the right time when you need a doctor there. These guys, their podcast quality. No, they get pod, and that, that we have the same mics, but I have this a microphone on there. You know, I'm just seeing Vance Mo. I'm thinking, I wonder if I have uh, uh, a, a, something I can search real mm -hmm. easy. Ah, oh, here, what do we got? Uh, Daily Pigeon the Live. Daily Pigeon Live and Island Music. Uh, Island. Oh yeah, let's play the Island Music one. This is a, this is a song uh, he did, and I actually made a music video of it because usually Vance Mo he does, you know, like you know, um, Makua. I mean, uh, uh, Mauka Ma Ma or Makai oh. or Okina and Kahako mm -hmm. and stuff. But this is one that we uh, did. What, what's this? See Honda's here. Where? Oh, there she yep. is. I see Honda, and earlier I thanked you for sending me all those wonderful links uh, that we use. But right now, we're going to do a little tribute to uh, Vance Mo, right? Vance Morimoto. And um, we will um, play a song that he, that he sent me, mm -hmm. and then I made it into an actual music video. And I don't do that too often with his songs. So check this out, guys. How's it? How you doing? Have you got some time to spare? Let me tell you about this feeling. You can get it everywhere. Once you know it's secret, you want it every day. So come on over, listen up and hear what I gotta say. Come on from a hard day of work. Say, what do you do? Sit on the 
on the TV, open a can of brew. It doesn't have to be that way, so get up off your rear. Feel the music, feel the beat, and let it take you there. Island music makes everything okay. Island music, where you want it every day. Island music, join in everyone. Island music, let's go have some fun. Island music makes everything okay. Island music, you want it every day. Island music, join in everyone. Island music, let's go have some fun. Well, now you know what it's all about. You can have it every day. Share it with everyone you meet and help them learn the way. Show them how to feel the music and how to feel the beat. We can make this world a better place and live in harmony. The island music makes everything okay. Island music, you want it every day. Island music, join in everyone. Island music, let's go have some fun. Island music, let's go have some fun. Woo! Island Jeez. music. Let's go have some fun. How cool is that? Nice. They wrote that 20 years ago in Seattle. Ago. Yeah. And he just finished it just before he <laughs> sent it to me. He was like, what, what this video needs is a, a, a parrot at the end. <laughs> at the end. He's just staring just at it. Just a him. parrot. Yeah. And I, I loved your comment when that lady was on spinning. What is this, a German <laughs> music video from the 90s? I know. I look at that, and he's saying hi to P. Draggy. Hey, mahalo. Yeah, he has good voice. Yeah, oh, nice thanks voice. for playing that, Andy and James. You got it, bro. Yeah. Mahalo nui loa for all your work for helping us launch the Daily Pigeon wow. three years ago. Now, I know we're on our fourth year now. Can you believe it, Vance Moe? And we and we just getting started. We're just getting started. We intend to do this for f Four and a half years. Yeah. <laughs> at least. At least. At least. Oh, how Vince still looked the same after 20 years. <laughs> Gotta be Filipino, that's why. No, we, we, did this, we did the video like uh, two years ago. Oh, uh, well, still, I mean, I'm sure he looks younger. But he wrote it um, 20, 20 years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. That was what he said, yeah. Ooh, and money on the uh, YouTube side, because Twitch's not working. Oh, it's good having you here today. Yes, it definitely is. Oh, that's where I heard that voice from. That's right, right there. Let's see, Honda stuck in traffic in Pearl City. What? I'm in traffic on the way to Pearl City. Uh, uh, we leave for home tomorrow. Oh, that's good. Oh, because uh, she might... Um, Oh, yeah, because she was on Kauai, mm -hmm. right? And then uh, helped us with our concert there. Mm -hmm. uh, so she was so helpful, her and her brother David. And then uh, I guess she's back here, and boom, back to L.A., right? Ah. I know. Well, Hawaii wanted to say, wait a minute, before you go, here's some traffic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just to just to break you in. Yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> so it's not such a shock when yeah. you lie when you're on the 405. Yeah, yeah you know. going nowhere. It was so funny. She was talking to Frank DeLima at lunch, right? So, and uh, you know, she was t talking about all these different Hawaii things, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Frank says, "So, oh, so where do you live here on Kauai?" And she goes, 
no, David and I are from Los Angeles. And you should have saw his mind go. <laughs> <laughs> I am not understanding what, uh, what you're saying. <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. Oh, my goodness. I know. CNK was my favorite island music in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Everyone's yeah. favorite. My yeah. goodness. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's called Botox. Oh, I wish I knew the setup for that one. That sounds like the. Oh, it looked young. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. He's yeah. still. Your memory is amazing, James. Only for the like the last five minutes. Yeah. Anything longer than that, erase. Well, plus you're on drugs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Twitch out of sync. So over to YouTube. Drives me nuts to have words and mouths not match. Oh. I don't know why it, you say that because, you know, I, us here, I, it, it never happens to us. I, I, yeah, I can tell you do that to people on your phone. <laughs> hey, James, what up, money you owe me? Uh, what, breaking up. I can't hear you. Oh. I do that even with the text. I just do a letter here and a letter there. <laughs> a, Z, G, oh, send. What is outside one's paragram, pa what? paradigm? Paradigm. Get, how come get G? Uh, because the G, because the G is silent, I guess. I'm, I don't know. It's, to, but it must, it's an alien thing. Maybe it, it changes the I to a oh. long I, so it's not paradigm. Par oh, so it changes uh, to paradigm. Oh, it's that, my, my wife teaches, you know, kids, and so I bought her that shirt that said I before E except after C. Weird. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> It, it's English. English is a weird language. It is a tough language to learn. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people have mentioned that to me. Yeah. <clears throat> Most were English speakers, by the way. Oh, it's just like kung fu movies. That's uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so you think your white crane style is better than my drunken monkey? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, okay, let's see. Uh, a couple folks asking to end with uh, heavy on Hawaiian style. Oh, that's a bad oh, phone music, from music, music. Okay. I think uh, before I we continue, can we give a shout out to your friend, Doc Bailey? Doc Bailey, Cranes and Equipment mm -hmm. in, Las, uh, in Las Vegas, Oakland, California, Hawaii and Guam, renting, fixing, and training? Yep. That Doc Bailey? Yes, that exact person. Nah, let's not. Okay, all right. okay, but I know a guy though. Yeah, um, he drives a Kia. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I have two in my family. We love them. Yes, I'm in that commercial, and uh, also, hopefully soon, T and T tinting. By the way, you know, I was talking to someone today. Um, you know, my friend Jody Kono with Zippies, mm -hmm. right? And I was saying, did did you know that Tommy Silva, who owned T and T tinting, mm -hmm. basically gave the company to the employees. Oh, really? Yeah, so now TNT Tinting is 100% employee-owned and operated. Oh. And if I understand it correctly, he said, you know what, I made a lot of money. People don't know, TNT Tinting, the most, one of the most successful uh, t tinting companies in the nation. Oh, wow. Yeah, in this country, and he's always winning, you know, uh, he's been around for 40 years, and he said, how cool is that? Oh, yeah? I cannot find employees. You know what you should do? Give them that company. I bet, you, I bet you customer service must be amazing because that's your own company. It's you want to represent your company. Can you imagine people coming in and saying, I want to speak to the owner. Okay. Yeah. Ask me. Oh. And what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Commotion in the ranks. Everyone wants to know where is Kinako? Where is Kinako? Oh, there. she's outside. I'm oh, in the living outside. room. I think. Oh yeah. I yeah. Know. Well, it's yeah. not raining, so she feels safe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. But you also, know. I was getting jealous of the attention she was getting. <laughs> oh, I yesterday. Was, I was like, hey, what about James Money? You know, everybody's <laughs> saying, look at Kinako. Yeah. I was wearing the shirt too. <laughs> <laughs> But she was wearing it first. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, I get it. it's the eyes. But uh, before I continue, I want to give a shout out to Hawaii Volcanic Water. Beautiful bottles we have here. Made recy recyclable past oh. recycle. 
I guess I'm three teeth missing. I have a hard time saying recyclable. Recyclable. Plastic. That's okay. I couldn't say paradigm. Yeah. Be Pono. Do what's right. HawaiiVolcanic.com. Yeah. And thank you. Uh, mahalo nui loa. And uh, <clears throat> that reminds me. I have some hot water here. Mm. I put honey in it. A little hot water because of my throat. Nice. And then uh, we also have show coming up. Uh, at july 1st in kona yeah i was given the green light by greg to say it's a go oh you know what i wonder if the, if my poster would work then uh, but i wonder if the information on it i've been i've been i've been goofing around making posters yeah uh, the only thing we gotta um, add i think eventually would be to go to eventbrite to buy the ticket so we haven't we're no, not we're doing it to andybumatai.com oh yeah but um the, and if you go there and click it, it takes you to Eventbrite. Yeah, so we haven't set up the Eventbrite yet. Because, oh, we haven't. Yeah, because yeah we're, I get it. Uh, uh, Greg's going to set up a date to start selling tickets, so okay. we haven't done that. But Well, what, then we'll hold off on showing the posters okay. and yeah. stuff. But yeah, July 1st at Kona Elks Lodge. Kona Elks yeah. Lodge. So That's right. You guys get the tease because it's about the podcast, so we haven't announced it outside of the podcast yeah and then and then the show in renton washington yes right we are going to really we're gonna i'm trying to figure out a way to incentivize the hawaiians in washington mm -hmm, group mm -hmm. so that they get something extra you know we go to them first either early early boarding yeah. you know <laughs> extra comfort seats yeah. or well, uh, or um i would hope to get an extra comfort seat but uh you'll be on stage yeah so they get like a discount um or maybe some gift or yeah something. Something. we're yeah. thinking about a signed poster or they something. get to buy tickets before it goes out to the public yeah. if anyone is in the hawaiians uh in washington group mm -hmm. we're thinking about you okay yeah. and mad statter is kind of the lead on it she's been yeah. posting stuff yeah. about it and yeah. also those of you from uh other states who would like to see the daily pigeon road show yeah man, let us know if you guys are interested yeah. and we'll uh i really want to show that poster yeah. <laughs> i mean i think you can it's really just... well i'll tell you what let me uh uh information might change on this okay yeah. but let me, let me show you how how it looks here this is what i did whoop see that yeah, it's okay. the road show at yes. Carco Theater. At the, the, the this and you notice on the top, look at that. You know, watch Daily Pigeon, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have uh, <clears throat> Facebook in there. I guess we got to fix it. But <laughs> this is we're gonna be. This is gonna be James, uh, um, Augie, and I, mm -hmm. right? And this is uh, me trying to uh, pimp out the show using my poster talents. I think it looks cool. Oh, thank you. It yeah. looks very like. Um, uh, dun, 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 presenting, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, they're like like a carnival or something. Well, yeah. you know, I, I goofed around. Here's here's the one for uh, for Kona, Kona oh, yeah. and I went uh, I went another way with this. I went cooler because I figured we don't need our pictures in Kona, right? So this is what the the um, the the poster there looks like. See, that yeah, looks like an invitation. It does. To, to um, um, uh, graduation? <laughs> yeah, no, well, I was going to say uh, um, New Year's. Oh, yeah. A New, New Year's, Year's celebration. Thing. Yeah, kind of. That's what I kind of. Yeah. You kind of wear a top hat like the Mr. Peanut. Well, and... yeah, because I take templates and, and change them. And mm -hmm. see the tie here up in the upper. It was so hard not to put Booma on it. <laughs> <laughs> but oops. Oop, there we go. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, that, I've, been, I've been goofing with that lately. Yeah. So uh, we'll keep you informed on what's happening. There, yes. Right? So let's see. That takes us to j pretty much the top of the hour. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, everyone wants us to play uh, heavy on Hawaiian style, okay? Now, um, this is... Uh, wh wh where do I do this? No, uh, I, I have it here somewhere. Wait a minute now. I, I, I set this up so that... Oh, man. What was that? Hey, thank you, Rick S. for oh, subscribbles. Thank yeah, thank you. I <clears throat> believe earlier we had Thomas the Turtle with the subscribbles. I think so. <clears throat> Aha, here we go. I found it. So I'm trying to do that. It, you know, like that wasn't clunky. I'm trying to do something. So here's how it works. We end the show with Heavy on Hawaiian Style by Lono, mm -hmm. which is a video that takes us uh, through Maui. Oh. And, and But the trick is we ask everyone to please... Post anything, whether it just be a K mm -hmm. or, you know, a long post, because we want your avatar on the show hey. so that you're indelibly etched on this show. Yeah. Okay, so any kind. Pro tip, 
the more you write, the bigger your picture. Ah, I so know. get those fingers ready. You guys tick, ready? Tick, 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 tick. tick. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. And Rick, th Rick, thank you as for subscribing for 32 months. Nope. How mm -hmm. crazy is that? Mahalo nui loa. Whoo, okay. So here we go. Heavy on Hawaiian style. We'll come back after this and say thanks and hit the button for end the show. But here we go. How fitting that we ended on uh, Music is Life. Lono, mahalo for the wonderful song. And thank you to everyone who watched, especially to our moderator. Yes. Yes. Nani Aloha. 
uh, aware, aware. I'm getting used to saying it that way. Um, see Honda and Devon in yes. her crinkly hat. Thanks. Ah, that's right. And if can, guys, please subscribe to the YouTube side, especially, but any of the platforms. Thank you to everyone who um, cheered um, d d on the Twitch side. Yeah, I'm going to the Twitch side in here. See, oh, look at that. We are, we're on a level one hype train, 70%. Mahalo. Yeah. Enough already, you guys. You guys do too much yeah. already. Who cannot end with the hype train. Oh, no. Nani says we can't end until the hype train ends. <laughs> okay. Well, Nani is, uh, you know... Our associate producer, so we kind of have to listen to her. Plus, look at that. She has a five plumeria rating. Oh. And you don't do any better than that. Yeah. Oh, you know it's out saying? of five? Or? Yeah, it's it's five out of five. Oh, plumeria. Cool. Plus, thinking... not only is it a great rating, it smells wonderful. Oh, nice. Know, and that's there. Mahalo for lono. You're very welcome, Gary. Thank you so much. Let's see here. <clears throat> Mahalo for hitting the like button. Yes. And that's Devin, speaking of crinkly hats. Ooh, how's it, Darlene? S, hi to Rick. This is why music, it, it, he, he basically lurks like I do when I watch Mad Statter show mm. on Twitch and YouTube. And I think on Saturday she has movie night ah. also. Uh -oh. Ooh, what was that? Mad Statter. Oh, speaking of great timing, Mad 300 Statter. 300 biddies. OMG, thanks, uh, moderators. Hey, great mahalo. Thank you. And um, Don't they do a wonderful job, too? They're amazing. We have the best moderators. And, you know, uh, uh, Darlene, she knows about it because Rick S. moderates on... Um, Mad Statter. Mad Statter oh. show. Yeah, yeah I, I jumped in... Um, on the weekend, uh, I think it was Saturday from Denver, yeah. but the the signal was spotty, oh. so I was going in and out. But I just stopped in to say hello. That was a Denver thing. Yeah, right, because they're too busy making omelets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, and 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 Jerry says you can't smell a star. That's why we. Well, wait a minute. I don't know. Uh, one day I was hanging out with Robin Williams. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say you can you can smell it. Kehaulani cheered one thousand biddies. Wow, Kehaulani, mahalo, one thousand. And where are we at? That level takes two. Us, we that takes us to level two. And yeah. per um, Nani Aloha, we cannot leave until the, the hype train stop on yeah. the, on the uh, Twitch side. So I guess uh, we got to continue. Yeah, for for those who may be on the other platforms, right? Um, on Twitch, uh, a biddy is a is is a form of um, what de denomination, yeah. I guess, yeah. and it's it's a penny. But still, we appreciate it. It's more about hey, thanks, Ed. yeah, 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 like you a know? tip, yeah, like a tip, like yeah. like buying coffee on some sites, mm, yeah, yeah. Right, and right. so because we it begins the hype train yeah. when we get to another level. We can't end for another five minutes. So <laughs> basically. Or until people stop. Cheering. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys keep giving, yeah. we will have to start finding other things to talk about. <laughs> because <laughs> we've been doing this for three years. Yeah. Uh, you know, you for about six months yeah. now. And, so, and yeah. G Gamba says, I moderate on Mad Statter and Terry in hey. Scotland. Moderationist love. Send it yes, out. Yes, That's yes. right. Yeah, I was gonna say you you uh, you can smell a star, yeah. but it smells kind of gassy because a star planet <laughs> planet is a star. I, yeah, I, burning, I get it. I burning got it. gas. Yeah. yeah. Gas when, when you hear this, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went all in with the salon pasta. I said, like, wait, I need to get two shoulders. Well, you know what? That, that that's the. the um, that's the indication of a good comic. You just commit. Yes, exactly. Yeah, none of this lukewarm delivery. Yeah. Just commit. Yeah. I don't care if you guys are laughing or not. I am going all in. All in. Pauses and all. That's what that guy did when the story about the aquarium fishing. Yeah. He had the pause. No, Hewitt. And then boom, punchline. Yeah, yeah. Kumu Hewitt. Hewitt. And he just, but, and he says, and sometimes you just got to say, hey, stop. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. And that's that's comedic timing right there. Comedic that's... timing. Well, you know what it is? That's kumu timing too. Oh. Hey, you never ummy. <laughs> you better watch your slide. Uwe. <laughs> Uwe. <laughs> what is it? Omi and slide. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Uwe. Ombe. 
could, slide. Who was that? Uh, oh, no. Uh, 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 Roby Kahakalau? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. So when I, when I did uh, some voiceover uh, for his cartoon, they liked that that I had comedic timing. They liked that I would pause oh. and then boom on the punchline. The writers, they're, they're like, oh, that's so cool. You, you got it. And All right, cool. Appreciate it. You know it. why? Because you weren't playing a cartoon character. You are a cartoon character. I am. I like you to believe I am. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, look at that. Look, Nani just bat phoned me again. She says, two more minutes. <laughs> until? Is, until our careers are over, yeah. evidently. Man, I, I was know. hoping to make it at least to the Kona show. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. YouTube said this is not an academic site. Oh. And I believe them. I agree. Because, you know. You're not going to learn nothing here. <laughs> Oh, oh Teresa it, Bright. Oh, Teresa Bright. That's right. Ding, 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 ding. Van Small. Oh, Linda Lou with the oh, super chat. Oh, thank you on the su super chat is the YouTube YouTube side. Yes, thank you, James. That's what it is. I, I was thinking, I, I locked up on Facebook, but I was Facebook is stars, stars. when they're working. Yeah. But I really, when, when they're not blocking yeah, us. So cute, Nani. Nani will keep you two online. Wait, in, line, going, not a, in line. Oh, in line. Yeah. In line. Thank yes. you. This is true. This is true. I remember early in the podcast on my mic, I, I wasn't really into the mic. So I was like, can I hear you? She would oh, just lean in. Yeah. I yeah. Know. I got scolding. <laughs> and now you can hear me. Well, she just says lean in, right? Yeah. I was doing it the, the hint. You know, these have an arm that swing back and forth, James. <laughs> oh, really? Thank you. <laughs> oh, never catch the hint. <laughs> Well, because if Nani says it, then I listen. Oh, look, Namaste Zen, plenty to learn here. You know, coming from you, Namaste Zen, um, that's high compliment. Oh. Thank you, because you get the kind of hyperbolic uh, kind of stuff, right? Whew. Uh, it's good you are having fun. Thanks for sharing. Oh, yeah. how nice. Appreciate it. Well, I mean, even like today, so even though I got all these teeth taken out of my face... <laughs> And I'm, I am in pain, folks. I am in pain. But the reason is, it's something I learned from you, sir, which What's is that? you're always here for the Hammer Jang gang. Yep. And it's something that's like, I got to be here for the Hammer Jang gang. Yeah. And then I see everybody showing up every episode. So we're all here for each other. So that's right. Driving up, I was like, I got to get there. And for those of you who, who don't know, uh, James is three teeth less today yes. in a vain attempt to lose weight yeah so that's about 30 pounds for some wine to eat you know what you go to the dentist you do lose weight because when you try to eat it's yeah. another world well the best part was that the dentist i went to i called after i left and my daughter was making breakfast so I yeah. said, oh, she said I, I can't make you food you just had your teeth pulled out i said well let me call so i said hey how long i gotta wait till i can eat and she goes when you're hungry, eat. eat. Like, oh, right on. Nani gave us the green light. Uh, level two, we got to 45%. Well hey. done, gang. That's from Nani Aloha. Mahalo, gang. Thank you for going out this yeah. week there we with go. a bang. I learned of broadcast quality <laughs> here. Oh, there we go. We got to make that shirt. Oh, broadcast <laughs> quality. Podcast quality. <laughs> Smell the freshness. Yeah. I like that. Who? I guess now we can all call it fake book. You know? <laughs> Are you kidding? I get Filipino blood. I call it fake book book. <laughs> ah. Okay, gang, that's it. Mahalo to everybody who helped the uh, hype train go to level two, 45%. Mahalo nui loa. And again, our moderators, the Hamajang gang, and anyone who subscribed. Thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend. And we're going to poke the button right now. Everybody make the noise with me. This is the poking button noise. Doot. Second.